Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. I mean, what we teach you here, right, right, is our people, our history is in the Bible. Because every nation is in the Bible, right? You ain't gonna find Portuguese, Puerto Rican, American, what you said? Arabic. Arabic. You ain't gonna find that in the Bible, right? So what it was showing is that our people, this history that happened, that you see right here, right? Slavery, uh, what happened to the natives in the Caribbeans, everywhere, right? Even across the world, that happened to our people is actually biblical. Right. So this is what we're trying to bring to our people is that guess what? Our history is in the Bible and we need to get back to the Bible because the Bible is the answer. The Bible tells us how we jacked up right now and how to get out of this mess that we're in. Give me Deuteronomy. Bring it out. Because I'm also Puerto Rican. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it but it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee so you see this is Moses talking to what the nation Israel when they came out he said listen I'm gonna give you the commandments if you keep the commandments I'm gonna bless you right you read that to the time of King David King Solomon so on right but then when we reign it he said now if you break it guess what now you're gonna be cursed as a nation right because let me ask you a question when y'all grow up I don't know if you ever wondered, because you know, you hear about God, right? You be like, yo, God loves everybody, you know, saying everything is all peace and love. But when you look in the world, you look in the news, everything is war. Right. Yes. There's always tragedy every in the world. There's killing, there's right. murders. Right. Right. Our sisters are getting, you know, sex trafficking. Right. You gotta right. be like, what's going on? If there's a God, why is this going on? Right. The reason right. is, right. is why? Because we went against his laws. He yes. said, listen, don't kill, don't murder, don't right. lie, so right. on and so forth. So many laws that he gave it, he said, yeah, we ain't gonna do that. We gonna do what we feel. He said, right. gonna do what we feel, I'm gonna jack you up. Right. That's right. Give me the next verse. Verse 16. Matter of fact, give me 32. Verse 32. Bring how you doing, up. my sister? My sister, how you doing? You see yourself right here on the, on the side, my sister? What we doing is showing our people who we are according to the Bible. That's right. We're showing that, guess what? If these curses fall on your forefathers, if what we come out of the Bible fits your forefathers, then you're most likely from the tribe of the nation of Israel. Right, yes, right. We need to get back to God. Right. Uh, give me this. 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? You see this right here? And this is just this didn't just happen to the so-called blacks. Right up. This happened when in the Caribbean, South America, right, right. when uh, uh during Africa, around Europe, because right. our, our peoples are everywhere. So guess what? Our sons and our daughters, as you can see, we're at was sold to another nation. Right. Right. Because we broke God's laws. Right now, I don't know if you know this, right now it's epidemic. Our sisters, the so-called, especially right now, I mean, a lot of our women is getting taken. Right. If you see in the news, they say what? Almost, what, every 30 seconds or so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around yeah. every 30, 30 seconds, a woman is getting kidnapped right now. That's right. Only seven. Hello? Only seven. Every, every 30 seconds, a woman is getting taken. That's crazy. That is a Bring curse. Read that one more time. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look in fair with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand 
all those sisters that you see taking in the news on a daily basis, we ain't got no power to take it. And not all saying that, it also falls in what? Child services. Right. Child, every day, child service is taking our kids. Why? That's right. right. We can't discipline them. If you hit your kid, you try to discipline them, you can't do that. Right. You be like, okay, so when they grow up to be monsters, they rob and they steal it, then they come blame the parents. Right. Or you yeah. a bad parent. That's you don't let me correct my child. That's a curse. Now give me uh, 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So God is saying, now listen, this is God. This is the same Bible that you can read anywhere. That's your right. grandmother got it, your mom, yeah. your pops, your uncle. Right. I don't care where you go, it's the same Bible. Say God himself is right. going to send another nation to jack you up. Read that right. one more time. Right. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. I thought God was about love. Right. Right. Every time right. I go to church or you hear in the news, or you always hear some type of philosophy, Man, you just gotta love everybody. God is about love. God is saying here, I'ma jack you up. Yeah, right. I'ma send yeah. you to slavery. I'ma take your kids and right. give it to another people. Right. That's, That's real right. God. That fake God that y'all hear about, that God loves everybody. God is about love, unity, this and the fourth. Do whatever you want. It's what you feel. That's not in the Bible. Yeah. Any Bible. Right. Spanish. T-shirt. I don't care what language you got it. Hebrew. Greek is going to say the same thing. That's you right. break my laws, I'm going to jack you up. Right. Finish, right. It. Finish it off. And hunger. So in hunger. For our food, guess what? We always got to go to what? Another nation. Another people. Because guess what? A lot of our time, our people come here. We bust our behind. We workers. But we don't own these companies. Right. right. We don't own under these companies. There's always somebody on top that is not our people. That's Even right. if you're a CEO, there's always somebody above you. Right. Right. Even when a, a Obama was president. Guess what? He was just a puppet. That's guess right. Guess what? He couldn't do anything he wants to say. He got the congresses, the congressmen. He got the banks controlling him. You can't do that. I want to do this. That ain't happening. Right. I paid you. You're going to do what I tell you. Right. That's a curse. Take it out. Huh? It's more. Take it out. And then thirst. Water. Simple as that. You got to pay water. Water is free and you got to pay for it. That's right. And then nakedness. All our clothes that we got, I don't care if it's an athlete, an uh, actor, whatever, whatever name it got. That material always comes from somewhere else. It's right. never our own people. Right. right. And then what of all things? The education comes from somebody else. Our language, our name, our religion is what? Given to us by from somebody else. That's right. Christianity, the, the way we think of Christianity, just like we're going to, just like, check this out. Who is this supposed to be? It's supposed to be Jesus, right? Correct? Jesus. Right? Now, in one of all things, they gave us this when we got conquered. They say, Bring it this out. is your Lord and Savior. Right. And then guess what? If you know a little bit about history, if we didn't bow down to this, they were kids. That's that right. is historically fact. Right. That's right. right. And you can read that in the Bible. Right there. Now, if I should say, if I should ask you, have you been ever in any Bible been showed him in the Bible, literally in the Bible? No, right? But we believe it. We give our life right. for this. That's right. We serve him. We, when we pray, guess who we thinking? This guy right here. Right. That's right. Bring it up. Bring it up. Jesus. And we think of him. That is not that scribe in the Bible. That's in the one of all things. So let's get to the matter of fact, let's go to Revelation. Bring it because out! Believe it or not, Christ is in the Bible. They talk about nobody seeing Christ. And the second thing is it doesn't matter. So we'll get to that. Give me that Revelation 101. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 10. Verse 10. And, in the, and I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. This is John on the Sabbath day. It's the Lord's day. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath. Yes, and sir. heard behind me a great voice. He heard a loud voice behind John. As of a trumpet uh -huh. saying, I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the first and the last. First and the last. Who's that? Who's Alpha and Omega? Wow. Christ. That's the first sir. and the last. And what thou seest, Write it in the book. I want to make sure you read this because a lot of times when you hear, um, when you bring out, when we bring out 
the description of Christ. Oh, see, that was just a vision. Clearly, right, it says, when he turned around, he heard a voice say, hey, listen, what you hear? Write it, what you see, write it in a book. Yes. So it's not a vision. He yes. wasn't like, well, I think. Now, he literally saw Christ. Yes. Remember, right. John was one of the apostles. Yes. So he knew right. what he looked like. Right. right. Now, give me 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair. So his head, the hair in his head, and his hair is because he had a beard. By the way, that's a law to have a beard. That's right. Because yeah. Christ had a beard. Did you right. know that? Yeah. Right? So that's a law. That's You're supposed right. to have a beard. You right. trip it up having nice, you read that in Leviticus. We'll get that later on. We're white like wool. So the hair that he had was white and woolly. Yeah, right. Let me ask you a question. Simple, simple. Who has woolly hair? It's because it's is wool a color or a texture? Yeah. It's a texture. Do you agree? Yeah. So what, what kind, who guys who got woolly hair? Huh? Woolly hair, that's woolly hair. As white as snow. It was all white. So check this out. So these images right here, they ain't matching what the, the, the Bible's saying. That's right. It's not matching what the Bible's saying. And his eyes were, now he's looking at his eyes, were as a flame of fire. Flame of fire, when you read in Genesis, because the first miracle is what? You not know his first miracle? He, he changed water into what? Into wine. When you drink a little bit, what happened to your eyes? Bring it out, bring it out. It's a little red, you know, traguito. That's right. That's right. right? It's a little red. I gotta get to my kids though. All right, well check this out. Listen, you want the kingdom? Give me Matthew 19, 16. Do y'all want the kingdom? Okay, cool. Before you leave, this is a major thing because in religion, in general, right? I want to say this before y'all leave is God never gave us religion. Right. You're not going to hear Moses go down there and give them, say, the name Adventist, give them their Catholic, right. give them their whatever. You're not going to read that in the Bible. That's right. But he gave us his what? Commandments. You know how we say he's our heavenly father, our father? As a parent, I'm going to tell you, do this, and you're going to be good with me. You don't That's do right. it, I'm going to punish you. That's right. Give me Matthew 19, 16. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Yeah. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Right. He came to ask Christ, listen, I want the kingdom. I want to live forever. What Bring I got to do? Bring it out. And he said unto, unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. That shows also there ain't no such thing as a trinity. It's a separation. Right. But sometimes, not a lot, but sometimes Catholic. I know for, for Catholic, because I grew up Catholic. A lot of our people believe they're the same people. Right. It's a different yeah. Not me. It's a different person. But if thou would enter into life, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Because in, 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 in religion, in majority of Christianity, whatever sector it is, because they all fall down under the same umbrella, it says, all you gotta do is have faith and believe, for the most part, right? Christ is saying himself, no, keep the commandments. Right. What you're gonna read in Hebrews, when he dies, so what did he die? It's what? To take away the sacrificial law. That's right. Remember, you know, he said, I'm the lamb, right? right. The lamb. Now after me, you ain't gonna better, you're not gonna get no bigger sacrifice than I am. Right. So he said, after me, now you got that thing called grace. That's right. What is grace for? What is grace before you leave? What is grace for? Did you, you hear go. grace? We on the grace, brother. We don't gotta do nothing. Just believe in Christ. What is grace? Give me that. Yeah, because grace, a lot of people, we are grace. I don't have to do that, man. I'm on the grace. So I wanna do that. I wanna give you that. Grace, Titus 2.11, quick. Come on. Titus chapter 2 verse 11 Bring it out. For grace For the grace of God that bringeth salvation Have appeared to all men Teaching us that Teaching us Grace is we supposed to learn something of grace Teaching us that denying Ungodliness and worldly Lust so with the grace the Grace at the end of the day is a grace period right. right when you have a bill And you can't pay on the day Let's say it's the first I ain't got it. You call the bank, whatever it might be. Listen, I don't got it. Can you give me a little break? Okay, cool. I'm going to give you a grace period. I give you two weeks to make at least half of the payment. Whatever it might be. Cool, that's a grace period. It don't mean if I say, cool, you ain't got to pay on the first. Does it mean you ain't got to pay at all? Bring it out. You still got to pay it. That's right. It's the same thing. Okay, cool. Because remember, when you read in the Old Testament, we kept breaking the commandments. That's we kept right. going on. 
on the captivity after captivity. The Persians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Greeks, the Romans, so on and so forth, right? So he said, listen, before I kill all of y'all, because we all should be dead, because we all sinned. Right. We all broke the commandment. We all should be, we, we should we didn't even exist. He said, I love y'all so much, I'm going to send my son. So you can get that grace period to fix yourself. Yes. Right? Before right. I come and kill you. To finish it off. Teaching us that denying ungodliness huh? and worldly lust. We should live soberly, soberly, righteously, righteously, godly, godly, in this present world. In this present world, give me righteousness. You got the fly, right? Yeah, I got it. Listen, I'm gonna give you righteousness. At the end of the day, when you hear righteously, it's gonna sum up what he was talking about right there. Right. It's the laws. That's right. Don't kill. Don't steal. The beard, fringes. These are things that it seems minute to us, like it's stupid. You want me to put this? It's stupid. Really, I'm not gonna make it. The scripture says, you break any commandment that I tell you to do, you ain't make it. Because remember, he's not a man. This is God. I want perfection. That's I don't want, a, you know, saying, I'm going to give you 50%. I'm going to give you 80%. Right. I want 100%. That's right. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. Yeah. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he had commanded us. That's righteousness. What you hear, man, I'm I'm trying to be righteous. Are you righteous? You ever hear about righteous? According to, it always goes down to what? Commandments. When you read a lot, when you read the first John, love is keeping the commandment. Right. When you read the Bible, no matter what it says, it always go back to the commandment. That's right. Because you gotta earn it. You gotta earn you want you wanna you wanna have a nice body, you gotta earn it. Right. You wanna get a nice diet, you want a nice job, you gotta go to school, you gotta earn that degree. You gotta That's earn right. everything in this world. That's right. But our people think, oh, you turn our life. I could get that for free. I just got to believe. Bring it out. It's hard. Kill me now so I could go to the kingdom. Right. Yeah. Why am I wasting my time in this life? No. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.